it's funny when you type your name into YouTube, I don't know if you're aware of this, almost all of the top results are LA night, huge pop, LA night, massive crowd reaction. No, I don't know this, but now I feel like I'm going to have to go check it out. Yeah, you're going to have to go see this. And I'm curious, at what point did you start to realize, like, man, I, I knew the crowd was making some noise for me, but this, this is really loud now. I can tell you exactly. Uh, it was back in March. We were in D.C. Uh, Seamus and Drew were in the ring. And then all of a sudden, that music hit. And I walked out, and I remember it just kind of hit me, and I was like, that's, that's different. Um, but, but I was just thinking to myself, I was like, ah, they probably know him from up the road. Hagerstown's like an hour away. Maybe enough of them know. Then we went to Pittsburgh the next week. I we went to New York the week after that. And everywhere we went beyond there, it just continued to pick up more and more. And I was just like, okay, well, I guess it's not, I'm not from New York, I'm not from Pittsburgh. So uh, maybe it's not that. And since then, it's just kind of picked up. L.A. got to a fever pitch, obviously. Uh, hell, uh, Triple H was out there doing a, a, a presser in uh, Saudi Arabia, and he's getting interrupted. So uh, something's happening. I don't know why, and maybe I don't even want to know why. Uh, but for some reason or another, the, the people are demanding me. When you saw that footage of the crowd chanting L.A. Night at Triple H, in Saudi Arabia, what was your reaction to that? Uh, well, first of all, I was I was sitting in my hotel room in Saudi Arabia, so I wasn't even there. I wasn't even at I wasn't even at the actual press event. So, um, somebody sent it to me on Instagram. I think actually, first before they even sent it to me, I saw somebody else in my stories saying uh, uh, they're chanting LA Knight's name at the thing. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. It's probably like three people doing it. <laughs> then I see the video. And I'm like, oh, damn. All right. All right. Well, it's it's right there. Uh, so so that was pretty wild. Um, but, I, you know, I'm also the worst at. Um, at really letting something like that get to me, um, like I can acknowledge it. Yeah. But that's like, OK, that's cool. Now what? Um, so. <laughs> I, I, I love and hate that about myself because I'm like, sometimes it's like, all right, well, why don't we just take a second to appreciate this? But I, for whatever reason, whether it's a flaw or a virtue or a mix of the two, I just can't. And I'm just like, all right, that's cool. Now let's continue on and make this better and bigger. But look, man, I texted you this the other day. Like anybody with ears can hear you are like mega over right now. And the great thing about this is it just keeps increasing every single week when you go out there it just keeps getting louder and louder yeah but you have to remember there's a lot of people out there without ears so 